being sworn in, shaking Chief Dan O'Shea's hand. We learned just a few hours ago that Cox was an Hananiga High School graduate. He was also a graduate from Northern Illinois. He received an honorable discharge from the U.S. Army National Guard in 2010 and then worked for the Illinois Department of Natural Resources Law Enforcement Division. Again, Officer Jamie Cox was on the force here in Rockford for less than a year. And 13 News anchor Sean Mozzarella has been on the scene all morning for us, bringing you live updates online and on Facebook. And he joins us now live from District 3 headquarters with the latest this morning. Sean. Kristen, I'm actually out here on State and Dawn where this whole thing started. Officer Jamie Cox's car is still behind me. It's been out here since 1 o'clock when he came on this traffic stop. Investigators are still combing the scene for evidence. They say they are leaving this car running as it was when he left it. Officer Cox uh, died at the hospital, but out here at 1 o'clock, they're saying that he pulled someone over at a traffic stop right out here on Dawn Avenue. And then when we radioed for help, and for assistance, they got here and they found him critically injured and they found a single vehicle wrecked two blocks north of where we are at and that someone was dead inside that car. They're not saying how either Officer Cox died or the person inside the car died. All we know is that Officer Cox's body was taken to, was taken to the, the hospital where he was pronounced dead and his body was led in by a, a procession of law enforcement officers from all across the area down to the coroner's office. The coroner spoke to him a little while ago. He says that he is going to do the autopsy on Officer Cox and also the second uh, person that died out here who we do not know who it is. Uh, neither of those that person has not been ID'd. Neither one of uh, we know we don't know either one's cause of death. So he's going to figure that out. Uh, what we have seen already is an outpouring of community support. We've seen people bringing food to the district three headquarters, where the Rockford Police Department's leadership is meeting. We've also seen the flags lowered to half mast out here in the city. So if you're out driving today, you're going to see those flags at half mast. Uh, right now, Kristen, a lot more unanswered questions than we have. Uh, but Rockford Police said that they're working on it, including figuring out, getting to the bottom of whether it was a shooting or not. Initially, they tweeted and said that there was a shooting involving one of their officers, but they since backed off that, and they said now that they can't confirm that. So even they don't have a lot of answers right now, but we will figure that out and bring you updates. We're told we're going to get an hour heads up today when they do have more information for us, Kristen. And, Sean, really quick before you go, it still seems very active out there. Do you have any idea how long police are going to be on the scene of this? They haven't said just yet, but, I mean, the car hasn't moved at all. The investigators have been out here since I've been out here at 3 o'clock this morning. They have no plans to wrap up, so that's something, again, that they're going to have to give us a heads up. But I'm told mostly Dawn Avenue, almost down to the next stop sign, which is closer to Turner, there's going to be these barricades up. You can't get past that. All of the roadblocks that I saw at 3 o'clock this morning on State and Alpine, down by Rockford University, those have since been released, those intersections. Dorella reporting live for us on this officer death. Sean, thank you for that live report. Now, it has been nearly two decades since a Rockford police officer on the force has been killed. That officer was 38-year-old Detective Kevin Rice.